Last time on Lapforge. We're the, the kills, kills, dumb shit. And now. Wake up, Tobias. That's dinner. What? Wait. My name isn't Tobias. Sure it is. Oh, I am kind of hungry. What for dinner? I don't know. Hello, and welcome back to Cookport. This time we are going to talk about canned food and also I'm going to make you a little treat uh, with a little recipe with some fresh ingredients. So uh, get out your bacon, get out your eggs and let's start cooking. Okay, yesterday I was out in uh, my local shop to find what I could find easily without just looking for something specific, uh, canned foods. And I found lots of these uh, because they are quite easy. Um, the idea about canned food, if you are at a lab, you don't have much time to cook, it, you can get these pre-made dinners for almost no money at all. These uh, cans is about two euros a piece. So um, they're quite easy. And as you can see, there are a lot of uh, difference. There's also spaghetti, you just need to boil it. And there's actually some cheese sauce with this. That could be uh, some pork stew, goulash, soups, and even my favorite, chili con carne. Also, if you are a little piggish, no, that's fine, it's all meat and soup. It's even possible to get salads. And uh, the nicest thing about salad is you just open it and you give it to someone, like this poor fellow over here. You want some bread? That's how easy food can be. But of course, some will always consider this being, it tastes like canned food. It doesn't taste that good. That's right, but you have, if you haven't had to have the time to make food uh, from the ground up, you can't be piggish. That's what I say. When you are at the lab only for one day, um, I actually like to go to the baker store, buy some fresh bread and um, buy a sausage. Uh, this is a smoked uh, Danish salami uh, because I really favor it. Because it's a quite easy sausage to keep uh, fresh for a whole day without being uh, refrigerated or being cooled. Also, if you want to have it for more uh, over a week, if you place it in a cold place, cold place it can actually keep fresh for a, a whole week without being refrigerated. That's the brilliance of smoking things. Also, that might be why they do, did it in the Middle Ages and so on. Today, we are going to prepare two foods with uh, a canned food, some pork goulash. We're just gonna open this can, put it in a counter roll and cook it. Um, also, we're going to use some spam ham, some boiled potatoes, which uh, also uh, are in a jar, almost like a can some fresh bacon and some fresh eggs actually eggs also are really handy because they do not need a refrigerator for a week for this i'm going to use the kadak grill uh, like i showed you last episode so i'm just getting this on and now comes the easy part put a counter on on the this can and um, put out the goulash. <laughs> and remember, when you're cooking, cooking outdoors, remember to clean up after you. Okay, while this is uh, getting hot, we're going to the potatoes. The potatoes is uh, in uh, a water uh, with some um, preservatives in just gonna open them and pull it out right here. Then we are just gonna to take some few of them and cut them up into slices. And we're gonna put them on our frying pan until we're gonna fry them.
then take some pieces of bacon and just cut them up so they are a bit easier to eat then we're going to take our spam ham Like so. And uh, this uh, gelatine here, it's actually really good to cook with. So uh, I'm just going to scrape a little of it and put it over at our frying pan. And then I'm going to cut off some chunks into cubes. Just like so and add one egg. Now all we need to do is to wait uh, for our gulas to get uh, heated up. Almost everything uh, about taste, uh, as I mentioned before, many will think this tastes mostly like canned food because canned food just have this um, taste about it. Um, I always fix it with a little salt and a little pepper. Because I think that it can fix almost anything. Um, it's about five minutes later and um, the goulash is quite ready. I have put a little salt in it, a little pepper in it and tasted it. Uh, tasted it. And uh, frankly it tastes quite good. Uh, but um, don't just take my word for it. I want you to be introduced to my good friend, Doc! Yes? Get over here. Good. Thank God. What is it? Uh, goulash. Goulash? Mm, what kind? Pork. Mm, fantastic. Want some bread? Mm, 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 mm. That's good. Very really good. Mm. It's that easy. Now we're going to... Uh, take what we put in our fry pan and we're gonna fry it. It's egg, bacon, uh, some potatoes and some spam pan. And this is all going to be mixed up. This is actually normally what I would eat for breakfast at a lab event. Um, then I put in some uh, garlic powder, dried garlic, a bit of pepper, and a bit of salt. And then I just keep stirring until it's fried. And it usually takes about four minutes to do. Now we are finished. So um, there's only one thing to do. Get a plate. Put some of it on and let's try and get a pig, guinea pig. And I have the right guest for that. Preacher! Thank you very much. Mm. Bacon! I love bacon. This is all about the um, food. Uh, for this uh, week so uh, join me next time and uh, probably we'll talk a bit more about camp and don't forget if you are at Nifodea come visit us we'll be at the fire camp and if you're gonna excuse me I'm gonna get some supper And where the bloody heck am I? I might help you with that. Hello.